Okay, now this is basically an extension of the can angle prelog rules of the previous video. This time we're going to specifically look at how we use can angled prelog rules to assign E and Z notation, which is what we use for uh, naming double bond isomers. Okay, so you have seen that. Because double bonds cannot rotate, okay, you have a molecule like this where you have a methyl group here coming down and methyl group going up. This is different from this stereoisomer where we have methyl group here coming up and then a methyl group coming up there. Okay. Now we need a tool that will allow us to tell the difference between these two. Okay. And we're going to use can, ingold, and prelog rules. Okay. Now, there are three basic rules from can, ingold, and prelog. Um, there, you look at the highest atomic number, the higher atomic number is, the more important an atom and a group is, the uh, always if, you've, if you find something that's the same, you move to the next atom until you find the point of difference. And you, then you use rule 1 to tell you whether which group is more important. And then the third rule is if you, you find a double bond or a triple bond, then that's like having two or three of that atom attached. Okay? So... Those are canon gold prelog rules. If you want to revise, I'd encourage you to see the previous video uh, where I go over canon gold prelog rules um, in more detail. I'm going to assume in this video that you understand those rules. Okay. Right. What we're going to do is we're going to assign what's called E and Z denotation using can angled and prelog rules. Okay. So what I want to do is we're, we'll start with these two simple molecules. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw the hydrogens on just so we can see what we're doing. Okay. You don't have to do this. This is merely merely because it's a teaching exercise, we want to keep this as simple as possible for you. Okay, so we're looking at our double bonds, and over here we've got a carbon, and we've got a hydrogen, and we've got a carbon there, and we've got a hydrogen there, likewise on this side. Okay, what we do when we're assigning uh, E and Z to these double bond isomers is we essentially look at each side of the molecule in turn. Okay, so if I draw a dashed line down the middle of both of these, okay, right, and I want you to pretend that the other side of the molecule doesn't exist for a few mm. moments. Okay, and so we're going to look at this side only, just now. Okay, now we have a proton here, and we have a carbon attached to three protons here. Okay, carbon. Remember the first rule: carbon has a higher atomic number than hydrogen has. So this methyl group is more important than this hydrogen group. Okay, and by convention, we say that the most important group is number one, and then the least important group is number two. Let's do that on this side as well. We have this time hydrogen on the bottom. Okay. And we have a carbon up here. Hydrogen has a lower atomic number than the carbon has. And therefore, it is priority 2. And the one above it is priority 1. So the methyl group is priority 1. Okay. If we do on this side the exactly the same thing, we have... Our methyl groups are priority one, and our hydrogens are priority two. Okay. So.
So we'll just blend in molecule down in the middle. Um, we're not really interested in what's happening in the other side just now. Okay. So you'll see that now we've got some numbers associated with this. I'm just going to colour them just so that we can see. Right. And we have these numbers. Okay. Now, when we have the high, now what we're going to do is we're going to look at what the highest priority groups are doing. Okay, and on this side, the highest priority groups are on opposite sides of the double bond. Okay, and on this one, the highest priority groups, the ones here, are on the same side. Now, if we have a group which is on the, where the highest priority uh, groups are on the opposite sides of a double bond, then we call that the E isomer. Okay, it's in italics. And if we have them on the same side, we call that the Z isomer. Okay, so it's the E isomer if they're on opposite sides, it's the Z isomer if they're on the same side. Okay, and the E comes from the German word entgegen, and the Z comes from the German word zusammen. Okay, now Now, there is a helpful mnemonic for remembering this, and this was told to me by an American, so you have to imagine this done with an American accent. Yeah, and I'm not going to um, do that. If you have, if they're on the same side, then they're Z. Okay. Uh, the mem mnemonic is actually quite useful to learn and is uh, quite helpful. Okay. So, if the groups, the highest priority groups, if the highest priority groups are on opposite sides, then that's the E isomer. Okay. If they're on the same side, then that's the Z isomer. Okay. Right, so that's the basic. Okay, now we'll, we'll look at a few more complicated examples and work our way through those. Okay. okay, here are a couple more complicated examples. We'll just work our way through this as, as we've done before. Correct my quick mistake. Okay, and what we're going to do first is we're going to split the molecule down the double bond. Okay, so we only bother about each side individually. Okay, that's never split it in the middle like that. Okay, only ever down straight through the double bond like this. Okay, so if we have on this side we have a chlorine, we come out of this from this carbon, we find a chlorine. On this side, and we come here, carbon goes to a CH3 group. Chlorine has a higher atomic number than carbon has, and therefore that's the higher priority than that. Okay. Okay. On this side, okay, so we can forget about the left hand side just now. On this side, we're coming out from our double bond, and we've got a carbon. And this carbon is attached to one carbon. Okay, and on this side, we've got a carbon that's attached to one carbon. Okay, so we move to the next point of difference. Okay, so in the top one, we have a carbon attached to three hydrogens. And on the bottom one, we have a carbon attached to one carbon and two hydrogens. So this bottom group is higher priority than the top group. Okay. We call that number one, and at the top we have that as number two. Okay. 
Okay. Put these in red so you can see them properly. If we're looking now at our numbering, our highest priority groups, this chlorine and this group here, are on opposite sides. So these, this is the E isomer. Okay. Right. How about this one? So we split it down the middle with our dashed line. Okay. And we're only going to look at the left-hand side to begin with. So we have a carbon. So we come out and we hit a carbon. And if we come out here, we hit another carbon. Okay. So we move to the next point of difference. Okay. This carbon here is attached to one nitrogen. And this carbon here is attached to one nitrogen. The difference is, is the top one is double bonded to its nitrogen. Whereas the bottom one is single bonded to the nitrogen. Multiple bonds can be considered like having number of different copies of that atom attached. Okay, so whereas here we have carbon attached to one nitrogen, you could think of this top one as having carbon being attached to two nitrogens. Okay, so this top group is higher priority than the bottom group. Okay, right. The other side is arranged as a ring. Okay, that doesn't matter. Okay, you follow the rules as you know them. Okay, so from this carbon, if we come up, we have carbon here. If we go down, we have a carbon there. That's the same. Okay, we then move to the next point of difference. So we have a carbon here. It goes out to a carbon there. Okay, and a carbon here goes out to a carbon there. That's the same, so we have to look at the next point of difference. Okay, okay. This carbon at the top is attached to two carbons, whereas the equivalent carbon at the bottom is attached to only one carbon. And it's attached to two hydrogens as well, and the one above it's got one hydrogen attached and these two carbons. Okay, so this one at the top has a higher priority than the one at the bottom. Okay. Quickly colour that in red, so we can see. Now, if you look at where the highest priority groups are, the highest priority groups are on the same side, okay, and that is a Z isomer. Okay. 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 Now we're going to go the other way. Okay, now if we're writing which isomer it is, what we do is we put either E or Z in brackets in front of the, the name. Okay, so here we have Z but 2E. Okay, so but 2E, hopefully you remember, has four carbons. Okay, that's what the but means. And it's an alkene with a double bond on carbon 2. Okay, and the Z means it's the Z isomer. Okay, so that's what that's what all these uh, bits of the name mean. Okay, so let's draw this based on that. Okay, so we'll start by drawing a four carbon chain. One, two, three, four. Okay, now we want to put our double bond in. Okay, and put a double bond in on our second carbon. Okay, so it's one, two, here's our double bond. Now We've got to consider our isomer. Okay, now if we look at this, okay, we as I've drawn it just now, the highest priority groups, which are going to be these methyl groups, one, one, are on opposite sides of this. Okay, so as I've drawn it, this is the E isomer. Okay, if we want to draw this as the Z isomer then what we have to do 
is we have to draw this with the group pointing down. Okay, and this is the E. Uh, sorry, the Z isomer of but two E. So we've seen how we use canonical prolog system to name E and Z, and then we've seen how to go from from a name backwards to the structure that we want. Okay.